Let's talk about the enigmatic elbow here. You need to be a Mandrik the magician if you want to know everything about the elbow just based on x-rays and a lot of injuries get missed and my job here in the next 15 minutes or 20 minutes is through cases tell you what you miss most of the times and what can cause the patient harm. It's always an enigma. The common adage is my child has a fall on his elbow or his hand and his elbow is swollen, painful and stiff. You get an x-ray done and subconsciously your mind is tuned only to two fractures. Either a supracondylar fracture which is there 75% of the times and a lateral condyle fracture which happens 17% of the times. So that makes it 93, 92. What about the rest 8%? What happens to the elbow? Is it always a sprain, strain or is it something else? And the eyes do not see what your mind does not know. So my job is to make your mind aware of what other things exist. And this group of lesions is called as trash lesions. It may be a new term to many of you, but remember that trash lesion means a swollen elbow in a child with an innocuous looking x-ray which you would feel like throwing into the trash. Kuch nahi hai, fake do kachre mein, slab lagao ghar jao. And that can cause a lot of problems. Okay, so these are called trash lesions. I'll go through some examples. This is a 9 year old boy who came with a painful swollen elbow to a general orthopedic surgeon. He was told there is nothing wrong with your elbow, it's a normal x-ray, go home. His child was training to be a boxer, he was an athlete and he continued to have pain. If I ask most of you, you won't find much wrong with this x-ray. But if you have a really closer look and draw the lines, if you look at this line through the shaft, it is not perfectly collinear with the center of the capitulum. And what happened was this child had an anterior osteochondral fracture of the radial head and he had a progressive subluxation of the shaft posteriorly which was blocking his extension and creating trouble. This was his CT scan when he came about 4 to 6 weeks late to me and I had to do an open reduction as you can see here there was already some cartilage scuffing which has happened there. And this is his reconstruction, there was a large piece, I had to put the shaft back to the head and fix it with a small Herbert screw and that is his image after reduction with the shaft being restored to the center of the capitulum. At 3 months that was his function and that's his return back to sports activity, back to punching. So we could restore his function and form and that is a 5 year follow up and this young boy has grown up to be a national boxer at, in the under 15 category. So this was a trash lesion which if missed would have seriously hampered the life of this young sports person. So remember a 3 year old with a swollen elbow again restricted pronosupination and what does the MRI show? The entire radial head is lying outside. And why is it missed? Because you must be aware that the ossific nucleus of the radial head appears at 5. Before that, if you have a swollen elbow and nothing is seen on x-ray, it is your job to get additional investigations done. Never trash a x-ray because it appears normal. So radial neck fracture with dislocated radial head. This is a 5 year old who had an elbow injury and this is what was seen on the x-ray. Now this piece was diagnosed as a medial epicondyle fracture and there is a conservative treatment available. This is the normal side x-ray and what happened was he was treated by observation. Right? So observation treatment was given to him. Three months later he was no better but the fragment had gotten bigger. Now which fragment gets bigger with time? Right? So something was happening here and there was some ossification in that region too. The true diagnosis was a medial condyle fracture. So please remember like you have lateral condyle fracture, the entire medial condyle is unossified at this age. And a small flake of metaphyseal bone 
is all that you can see and is mistaken for a epicondyl fracture so any fracture on the medial side which appears to be epicondyl is a condylar fracture unless proved otherwise in young children and this is what he ended up with a bad elbow a stiff elbow with cubitus varus poor function as is expected another example a 4 year old an arthrogram may be useful and you can see the huge medial condyle fracture completely unossified and that needs to be treated surgically with open reduction and k wire fixation a 5 year old again look at the massive swelling on the medial side and if you observe very closely just a small flake of bone there okay that should alert your mind that oh this is a large condylar piece with a little bit of metaphyseal bone attached to it the mri showed that this was a completely displaced rotated medial condyle piece which needs an open reduction and fixation the key take home message here is any medial epicondylar fracture that you think before the age of 9 consider a medial condyle fracture unless you can prove it otherwise this is very important for you to understand fourth case this is another common scenario that you might see this child with a painful elbow was diagnosed as an elbow dislocation now an elbow dislocation doesn't happen in very young children but the entire distal physis is unossified and what the true diagnosis is it's a posterior medial displaced transphysial separation draw the lines and you will be aware and your mind should know that this disease exists so distal humeral physis separation treatment is like a supracondylar it goes medially so any time you see radius and ulna moving together medially and you don't see anything it's a transphysial separation confirmed with an arthrogram reduced and a couple of pins like a supracondylar and they should do well so remember the normal alignment where the center of radial head goes to the center of capitulum elbow dislocation is posterior lateral always posterior lateral in a lateral condyle this alignment of radial head and condyle is disrupted supracondylar everything is okay but it is through metaphysis and in a transphysial it is through the physis but everything moves medially so whenever you have a transphysial separation the fragment moves posterior medial not posterior lateral another example a swollen elbow and innocuous looking x ray a trash lesion you should be more aware after a few weeks it got displaced and ended up with a malunion a montagia and if you saw the x ray closely there was a small crack which was going all the way across and left alone massaged ended up with this deformity it was a missed proximal humerus montagia after 9 years an epicondylar fracture will have the origin of the flexors attached to it and is usually displaced widely a ct scan is useful in diagnosing the amount of displacement and especially if the child is athletic a valgus instability would result if you treat it non surgically that is an arthrogram showing you opening of the joint and the medial epicondylar fragment is open reduced and it has to be fixed with a compression screw or a suture anchor and that is restoration of function another example a one month post injury innocuous looking x ray a swollen elbow look at the medial side pay attention to soft tissue okay and what do you see this was an elbow dislocation with an incarcerated fragment so the medial epicondyle can exist as an isolated injury or with an elbow dislocation which goes posterior lateral and when it reduces that epicondylar piece gets trapped inside the joint so an elbow dislocation with an incarcerated fragment is the common way that the child will present to you be aware that this condition exists a missed incarceration will destroy the elbow in a child this is a CT, mri showing you the incarcerated fragment and you need to open reduce and excise it and do arthrolysis this is the example where you had the entire ulnar nerve also trapped inside the joint after reduction of the elbow you can see that the ulnar nerve is inside so always examine for the ulnar sensations and we had to do an open reduction bring out the nerve and fix the epicondylar piece back to its position that's the nerve after it has been brought out from its entrapped position in the joint example of an elbow fracture dislocation with the medial epicondyle a large piece
again after reduction this is not acceptable the entire piece is rotated by 180 degrees and open reduction and fixation is the way to go conservative treatment does offer hope in isolated injuries where there is no dislocation provided there is no incarceration and you can have healing provided there is no high demand on the elbow for more and more studies and papers indicate that medial epicondylar fractures need open reduction for a stable elbow rather than leaving them alone lateral condyle fracture again very innocuous looking was treated in a plaster put in a plaster obviously got displaced and ended up with a non injury should you fix it or you should you trash it an innocuous looking metaphyseal injury there you don't know where the fracture line is exiting is it through the joint is it across the physis or it is stopping short that will tell you whether to conserve or operate it's better to investigate these patients if you have the facility you can do a mri you can see this exactly same looking fracture metaphyseal fracture is seen but this is not going across the joint this is incomplete can be conserved okay stable plaster is okay given a plaster healed well no residue but the same looking fracture can very well be going into the joint and when it is extending into the joint the synovial fluid is going to leak into this the extensors are going to pull at it and within a week to 10 days in plaster it gets displaced or ends up into non union you can do arthrography to confirm that if you want to do better better justice and this is an example of an arthrogram with a dynamic study which shows that this is an unstable piece which is opening up so something that looks pretty innocuous can lead to a large amount of disability in a child's elbow and you need to stabilize it with a small pin so that you don't need to cause any harm to the child a 3 year old x ray looks innocuous okay an arthrogram shows you it's a big condylar piece the lateral condyle and that has to be reduced and stabilized another case an elbow injury a swollen elbow went to an arthroplasty surgeon was told nothing is wrong with you was sent home what is the injury you should take a proper lateral and what was the injury after 4 weeks a capitular fracture a shear fracture of the capitulum get additional investigations a ct scan showed the large size of the fragment and an open reduction and fixation with herbert screws to restore the function Nine year old national swimmer came with a posterior lateral instability because on swimming he used to feel his elbow subluxate and pop out x-ray was innocuous he was treated conservatively somewhere else detailed examination and additional investigation showed an osteochondral sleeve fracture so the capsular attachment at the posterior lateral corner was avulsed and there was a nice sleeve fracture these were the two osteochondral fragments which were allowing the radial head to slip out every time he went into hyperextension during swimming again open reduction and fixation of fragments with herbert screw and that is at 3 and 6 weeks with restoration to summarize trash lesion is a group of osteochondral injuries if you don't treat them sufficiently they are going to end up with long term consequences and you need a prompt diagnosis how do you diagnose first thing is be aware that they exist they are always displaced and always unstable they require surgery 90 out of 100 times additional imaging in the form of a good ultrasound which is operator dependent if you have access to you can do that an mri which might be expensive but is still useful or an arthrogram will tell you about the nature of the lesion so don't ever trash a swollen elbow in a child supracondylar and type 3 lateral condyle are not the only fractures around the elbow use additional investigations as per your availability affordability and your experience and be ready for a surgical intervention this is our series which we published in ijo a review to approach diagnosis and management in the uh, year 2021 and this is the original paper by peter waters on the trash elbow which is osteochondral fractures with joint incongruity the radial head compression with subluxation montagia fracture dislocation lateral condyle shear fractures unossified medial condyle unossified transfacial separation entrapped medial epicondyle and complex osteochondral fracture dislocations less than 10 years please go back and remember when the ossification centers appear and when they fuse 
1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11. Three total. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.